now here I'm yeah. going to be not quibble man, but at least slightly confused man. I'll and be say, confused. Which is that instead of a six, let's say I had rolled that five. Yep. So the five is also my highest die. So the worst case is that I lose the five because of his five. Right. And then I have to lose that three because that's my my next high, my highest. No. Die. Or they're nope. the same thing. Did the same thing. So okay. if you rolled two, if you rolled two fives, you'd lose the highest die, right. and then you'd lose the five. But if right. you only roll one five, you lose the you lose the five. Um, or sorry, you lose the highest die, which is a five, and then it goes to. Um, oh, oh, I see. And then I have no five, so therefore then it's you have no five. Down. I see. Yep. Okay, so as long as you do that in order, there's no confusion. I should be specific um, in order. Yeah, hazard will turn the player's highest. That's the the hazard is the 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 big one and then it kind of goes down from there so in order wait i thought you said we lose the five because of the skill first nope because it's the highest die oh because the highest die oh right right that's right that is what yep. you said okay got it well yep. yes as long as we follow that little sequence then there's no problem so yeah, okay. anything that's left over is um yeah because superior opponents will also burn the players um oh, i'm sorry i i i so hazard burns the highest die results. Superior opponents will also burn the highest. Basically, superior opponents give you hazard. Right, right. And then if opposed by the same skill, the player burns a die result equal to that skill's rating. So that's right. like the third level down. Right, exactly. Okay, I got it. So um, so all that said, um, we may talk more or at least consider what we keep talk what I keep talking about, which is given a failure or a success in a scene what does that mean absolutely specifically for the next scene? Right? right. So in other words, we don't just reboot and start over and the game master has to go. All right. Well then now this, right? So, so there are consequences to failure. Failure. It's not just that you, you fail. Right. Um, so in this case, in this case, there's going to be, uh, let's see if I go to races and chases. So fatigue Ah, that's um, right. The stages. Wait, the, is, and this was a one stage. This was a single yeah. stage conflict. Yep. Can I yep. try and articulate that? Um, if it's single stage, then the die roll is basically the end. Yeah. If yep. it's two stage, then we get a beginning and an end. Yes. And if it's three stage, beginning, middle, end. Yep. Okay. Exactly. That's actually what the phases are called, or the stages are called. I know that, but that's what that's uh, that little oh, that's breakdown. Great. I didn't quite find it articulated, so I okay, I'd try. Okay, um, yeah, cool. Um, and fatigue. So in a foot race, obviously fatigue is you lose stamina. In a car chase, fatigue is you start to wear out your car. Right. Right. So your car so is going to. In this case, the car basically wears out. Yeah. Okay. Or a little bit. Right. Um, and it's based on your. Um, this is the part I, I'm not exactly sure. So car chase is weird because you're not you really. You, so let me rephrase, reset. So in a foot chase, right, you could tap your stamina. Mm -hmm. You could be like, okay, I've got this much stamina. I'm going to use this much of it to get bonus dice. Great. In a car chase, you can't do that because you're not. It's, it's the car. So it's more important to use the car's attributes than yours. So Maybe cars will have. I'm attributes. not so sure about that. We could say that you would have to tap your concentration um you know your your mental acuity yeah. um because you're putting everything you have into the concentration of keeping you could do that you could yeah. do that focus me, is yeah i think i think that just tapping your focus probably makes sense yeah yeah that that would be fine but that's only for characters for character roles that have a focus skill so the driver has vehicles the um the commando has firearms, stuff like that. Right. I guess I'm is is driving the car, isn't that a focus skill? Yeah, if you're the driver. That's what I'm talking about. It's the driver who yep. has to kind of take the yep. take the damage right from yep. the car wearing out. Right. Um because we figure they're pushing, they've give, they're giving it we all know what it looks like, right? What does their yeah. face look like at the end, you know, toward the exactly toward the end of that? Yeah, car. rearview Chase. mirror eyes. Yeah. Um, but you can also, one of the things about car chases is, and I've been struggling with this, I've, I've done multiple rule sets is, uh, I want you to be able to press your luck. Right. So if, if your car, if you're driving a, t a Ferrari Testarossa, right, let's say that has a speed of eight, 
which is ridiculous, would be ridiculous because cars are like people usually go from, from one to six. Mm-hmm. Uh, although it's a different scale, you know, somebody, somebody on foot with a speed of six could not catch a car going at two. But back um, to the fast car. So fast car, uh, eight dice. I want to be able to use that to uh, do a maneuver, basically outrun an outrun maneuver. But then there, the repercussions have to do with how fast that car was going. And I'm guessing that's the trauma that your car experiences if you fail. But I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's kind of a good question. I mean, I as you can see, I'm calling for a minimal invocation of object attributes. Yeah. Right. I'm trying to keep the car from having its own hit points, its own energy bank, its own, right. you know, all that stuff. Right. Um, because as we've talked about, the, the, the car is basically, I mean, the, the driver is basically a centaur. Yeah. Right. The, the car yeah. is that, you know, it's part of them. I mean, you could it's even imagine, about- you could even imagine Vax's sort of deliberately purple prose of, you know, the car was a part of him. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so anyway, uh, with all this said, now I want to ask about the following things, um, which tie into a little bit about the context of how these car chases happen. Um, mm-hmm. And I have several. And one of them is deception. There are some of the novels, of you know, the Burke novels, where deception is everything. Yep. Uh, the one I'm thinking of is Strega. Yep. Nothing she says is true. Nothing that he encounters is really on the level, you know, as far as how it relates to everything else. And so here you're dealing with a whole environment where things like getting shot at or threatened or finding this or that out in as a small piece of information is those are all just details of how badly you're being fooled or how well you're, you know, seeing through it at any given time. Um, mm-hmm. And so I, I guess I'm interested in what is the, what are the relevant roles that literally establish the knowledge environment for the character? Right. So there is a system. Um, so there's three things the character can do. The, sorry, three things the player can do in the game. Uh, one is dialogue. No role necessary. You just say what you just say. Um, take action, which is using your you know your physical skills and doing stunt work and all that fun stuff. And then there's asking questions. Uh-huh. And the questions. Let me actually bring up my document so I have the actual thing. Um, and it's essentially the same chart as the take action chart, which you have in front of you right now. But it's not about well one. You're not really risking anything at the moment. Uh, definitely not risking trauma. Where's take action? Here it is. Um, but you're trying to get info. So uh, the scale is from one to six. Uh, it starts with certain. You know the exact answer and can deduce additional details. The next one is probable, uh, which is a five. You know the most likely answer. You can make an educated guess about further stuff. Four is you have a theory. Uh, it's going to be rough or general. Three is shaky. You're not sure. Acting on the information can be risky. Two is unknown. You don't know. Any guesses are just stabs in the dark. And one is mistaken. You jump to the wrong conclusion, or you may make an ass. Uh, you make assumptions that make an ass out of you. An umption, to quote Samuel Jackson. I, yes. Uh, so with that, <clears throat> let's see. Sorry. <clears throat> and that's that's getting information. That's that's. Uh, sure. But anytime I'm, you ask the GM. But- a question. The well, controller. this is kind of an interesting point, though, because I'm real interested in this lately, um, especially after having been playing uh, games in which the player's habits are simply to keep pushing the do I see, is it there, what do right. I see buttons. Right, right, Basically right, right. just pushing and pushing and pushing it 
up to the point where you're like, you just asked that. Right. And they're like, yeah, but I want to roll again. But really, what do I say? Yeah, exactly. Right. And yeah. so I'm, I'm thinking that instead of that, what we're talking about here, what I'm seeking or trying to get you to kind of think about is yeah. what happens when my character asks, you know, Strega, uh, you know, so what's this all about? It's no good. How about something like, you know, uh, do you love your daughter? Right. And this is a, this is role is actually a big deal. I mean, the, the whole thing of, I mean, Strega wants me to help save her daughter. Right. And she wants to keep it from me that she's an abuser. Right. So this is a, I think a, you're thinking of a, you're, you're thinking of candy, by the way. Oh, you're right. I'm thinking about hard candy, which is the most awful one. There's no reason I, there's a reason I just, uh, yeah. Cleared the title from my head. That's a particularly candy is rough. repellent story. Yeah. Candy is rough. Um, so yeah, hard candy. Ew. Um, yeah. So with uh, with that stated, let's take a look at um, this situation. I mean, I'm facing, this is tough. Right. I mean, I, I really want my six on this. And so this is not an ask questions because asking questions is the player oh. asking the controller about oh. more information. Well, That's, I can do the same thing, right? I mean, I can I can have my character say to to Candy, um, you know, do you love your daughter? Right. And then I turn and look at you and say, yeah, and I want to know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So um, with because we all know she's going to fucking say whatever, right? So you can role play her dialogue all you want to which is great. Right. Um, and that's also cool because you're not making the, the die roll isn't making her say this or that you get to role right. player as the game master, just the way you want a role player. Right. The question is whether I know. So with that in mind, actually, I really like that distinction. That's actually a pretty damn good distinction. Yeah, you can say I'm anything. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, um, but if I really want to know, then I go to asking questions as a simultaneous mechanic. Right. So cool. The, the, actually, there is a situation where you can't just say something, and that's if you're going up against a bond and you're going against in the against the uh, what that bond has requested of you. Right. Basically, if you're trying to do the opposite, then you know, tell me the truth. Oh yeah. You have to roll to right. see if you tell the truth. Absolutely. Right. No, that I get. That's you. You saying. will do the wrong thing. No, I, I kind of like will. it because the, it's similar to my thing in Champions now, where your presence attacks don't work against your your dependent characters or your yep. nemeses they're like they're done with your shit basically yeah so um if you uh so i like this here's the thing though i mean i'm up against a a master manipulator i'm almost in right. exactly the same situation as up against that master driver right and i'm looking at you know stripping this out and I'm trying to get my bonuses or whatever from uh, I'm, I'm trying to get those from uh, any way I've got. I mean, I've called right. in help of different kinds right. maybe, but, or maybe, you know, in this particular confrontation from the fiction that I'm thinking of, Burke's kind of all alone. Yeah. Like, yeah. He doesn't, he, he got and in very the very guys. beginning of that story, when he's first interacting with Candy, he gets, she walks on him, if I recall correctly. And so he's going in with all kinds of misinformation. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so, okay. and they have a relationship. Oh no, I know. I know. So she, she's able so, to stomp him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and so th that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So this actually works out pretty well. I'm liking that. So deception, that's cool. Now this is something that um, you're going to spot easily, which is I'm interested in the price Mm -hmm. And there's several prices. You're all, you're real good when it comes to the price of failure. Yeah. I'm what trying. about stories and situations in which there's a price for success? Yeah, there. I mean, there's always a price that you have to pay. Um, even if you even if you succeed, if so, the, the idea because that because your enemies always succeed, right? Your enemies always succeed unless you counter them. Um. But I also want 
the trauma to be inflicted sometimes when you succeed. And one is if you get a four. Let's see here. Uh, we, on a four, you've right. got your, you know, your complication situation. It's your qualified. Um, and now that's what I liked with that information one, because you said that's when you get a theory. And, right. my, and I was thinking to myself, oh, great, exactly what I need. You know, exactly what I need. I've, I've figured it out or I've got a pretty good guess, good enough to go by. And it wasn't a six. Right. Swell. So, right. Um, so in the case of the, the prices, though, what I guess I'm interested in is how well are those set up? I'm not necessarily saying they should always be known prior to the role. Oh yeah, yeah, they, they are. Oh, they are. Okay, they are. Okay, yeah. 